Hi, and welcome back to The Decked. I'm Rebecca and Brian, but you can call me Beck. Today we are talking about accessories. Accessories are a great and often inexpensive way to express your personal style. In this case, your personal brand and really bring some personality to what you're wearing and tell people what you're all about in a fun way. I mentioned in a previous post that I did that um, on these videos, I've tried to dress in the same color, whether you've noticed it or not. Today, I am dressed in navy blue because I wanted to match my flower and the accessory I have, I have on. So the navy blue matches my flower and the cover as do the flowers and it matches the necklace I have on. I bought this custom Floriantha charm, locket charm on Etsy. It actually come, it actually came as a bracelet. Um, I don't know where the chain is for the bracelet. It's somewhere in my, in my jewelry drawer. So today I turned it into a necklace, which is more camera friendly anyway. First, what I wanted to do is give some fun um, examples of accessories I've seen uh, when I've been out and about. And then what I want to do is a sh is an online shopping challenge. Like I've a little different from what I've done in the past. I'm going to pick a book at random from my own bookshelf. And then I am going to go on Etsy and try to find accessories that uh, match that book. I love Etsy because I love supporting, um, you know, independent creators who um, are trying to make a living off their own, off their own um, items, off their own merchandise. So I love Etsy for that. And you just find some unique things that not anyone else has, which is, which is what you want to see. So accessories seem like a small thing because if you are at uh, a table or something or speaking in an event or posting online, something like this, like this small necklace that you might that you see right here, you probably can't tell what it is. But if you're right in front of me meeting me in person, you might be like, wait, is that, is that the flower at the cover? And it, it's kind of a cool keepsake. If nothing else, it's a cool keepsake, you know, from, from a book that you wrote. It doesn't need to be necessarily about, like it doesn't have to have your book cover on it, although Etsy has a lot of great options for that. Um, it can also be, um, something related to your book or to your genre or, or even to your brand. I know, um, I keep seeing, I think it's time. The brand is tiny hands is tinyhands.com, I believe. And they have like food related jewelry. And I keep seeing a macaron, a teeny macaron, a teeny pistachio macaron. That's like the, you know, the pistachio green color. And I want to buy that and wear it because it really matches my brand and my brand colors, the, the girly kind of Francophile kind of brand that I want to present when I am marketing my Jane Austen fiction. By the way, <laughs> while we're talking about accessories and being consistent with branding, I do have some purple in my little Kate Spade bangle right here. So I'm kind of bringing it in a way. Anyway, so first of all, before we get to the challenge, I wanted to share some examples of some branding that I've found that I've been super impressed with. One book event that I went to a few years ago, um, my table was next to another, was next to a woman's table who was selling um, picture books for children, obviously. And these picture books happened to be about poodles. So she was wearing, she had a little stuffed poodle on her table, which is another important aspect of branding table design, which I'm not as good at, but she was also wearing a poodle scarf, which I thought was so cute and unique and kept her really consistent. And, and I loved it. And I've told her that. So that is one option. I mean, if you are writing about an animal, you could wear a scarf with that animal that's, or that, you know, whatever, that's always a good option. One other example I wanted to bring up, a friend of mine at work used to wear this really cool ring on her middle finger. It took up her entire finger, but it was like a kind of like a suit of armor um, with like a, a plate in the middle so she could bend her finger. 
shout out, you know who you are. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> so she used to wear this really cool ring and it would be perfect for like a fantasy author. Can you imagine a ring like that at a book signing and you're signing your fantasy books wearing a ring like that? It's perfect. It's not something someone would notice maybe before they came to your table, but it would absolutely 100% be memorable and you'd be asking about it as they left your table. And if you're working with these Etsy sellers, or if you see someone on Instagram or anywhere selling, or if you have a friend that makes jewelry or um, any kind of accessory, another idea is you could partner with them. They could um, promote your books and you could promote their products. I mean, these are all things to think about within the scope of your own brand. Um, you can't partner with all your friends or all the people you buy from, but always keep that in mind. Always think outside the box when you're um, creating your all encompassing brand. So um, those are the few examples I wanted to share about accessories. Let's pop upstairs. Let's pop up to the my bookshelf and see what I pull and then see what we can find on Etsy to pair with it. You're at my bookshelf now. What we're going to do, I'm going to enlist the help of my daughter to pick a random book from the bookshelf and then I'm going to go on Etsy and find accessories to match that book. So my daughter's going to sneak in, hand me a book, and I'll tell you what it is. Hmm, what you get up back? What you get? Don't pick one of my books. <laughs> what books are? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what your books are. <laughs> I'm not looking. Okay, let's see what she came up with. This was, this is going to be a fun one. She picked, my daughter picked Wicked. For those of you who don't know what Wicked is, you probably all do, but it's the story, the origin story of the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. So I'm sure we're gonna find tons of fun stuff on Etsy. Um, I know uh, fairy tale and other retellings are a big thing. So yeah, sure we'll find lots of great witch stuff, lots of great Wizard of Oz stuff. And let's get started. We'll start by searching for Wicked Jewelry on Etsy. As you can see, the first things that pop up are some bracelets with quotes on it, um, a necklace with the book cover and quotes on it. Click on that one to get a better view. I think that one would be good. It would get someone's attention right away. At only $15, it's a very affordable piece of accessory. What else? Let's see what else we can find. Lots of good jewelry options with the same quote on there. Very subtle too. Oh, these are cute. Let's check these out. Ooh, only one left. These are ruby slipper earrings. Those are so cute. Those would be really memorable for someone to wear and only $17 and only one left. Okay. Ooh, that necklace is kind of nice. Yeah. Let's get a closer look at that nice witch necklace. I mean, that would work for not just wicked, but any story with a witch in it. That's really cute. Kind of eye-catching but simple and only 30 bucks. See if we can find anything else under jewelry and then we'll try another keyword. All right, let's try something else. See if we can find a scarf. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at that. 
mask. How perfect would that be? Now that we might have to start masking up again very, you know, more often, this would have been a great mask to wear um, if you wanted to promote Wicked at any kind of event, or if you're a Wicked fan or writing about any other witch. Kind of a cute scarf, bunch of cute scarves and masks, all good ideas. More masks, some knit scarves too, or crocheted, I guess. Wicked spot. Yeah, that looks to be about it for the scarves. But yeah, my favorite option is definitely do the mask route. And then this infinity scarf is pretty cute too. It's got the um, witch from the Wizard of Oz movie looks like. So that would be a good option as well. I'm just going to search for one more thing to see if we can find any gener general accessories that I haven't thought of yet. Okay, we've got more masks, <laughs> um, stickers, earrings, I think that's a patch. So it looks like most of our bases have been covered already in the previous searches. Um, that bookmark is cute, the feet sticking out. Yeah, let's take a closer look at that. This would be a cute idea for some swag or like a giveaway if you didn't want to buy a bunch of them um let's see oh check this out this is this is not what's for sale but this was the ring a very similar ring I was talking about earlier isn't that cool let's see if I can find anything else more masks you know what, I want to see if that seller actually sells the ring, too. Let me see. Or if it's just the sword thing. Just click on the seller's name and check. I think it's just the swords. But still, that's very cute. Now you know what I was talking about when I mentioned the ring. So, those are some options from Etsy for the book wicked okay so that's what i came up with when i was randomly picking a book from my shelf and decking it out with accessories on etsy i hope you enjoyed this episode of bedecked um tune in next week to see what book or topic i deck out and as always like and subscribe if you know if you like what i'm doing share with your friends share with your author friends share with your reader friends and do tune in next time Thanks for watching. Bye.